Hello, this is Album Pickups for uh, July 2018, and it's been needing up a long time coming, but without further ado, the first album I picked up was Immortals Northern Chaos Gods. Now, there's actually already a video up on my channel where I compare this to a Baff's uh, self-titled album, as when a Baff split from Immortals in 2015, he went and formed his own self-titled band, and they released now in 2016. Now, um, for, a, for a long time in, in Immortals, since sort of the very late 90s onwards, uh, since Demon Az could no longer play guitar in Immortal, Abaf had become the main musical songwriter for Immortal, whereas um, Demon Az had become the uh, lyricist. So it, was re so it was quite interesting to hear how, sort of, and hear and con contrast and compare how an uh, album that's solely Abaf would compare to a Immortal without an Abaf in its album. You can find that in my channel, it's uh, a Abaf self titled versus Immortal Northern Chaos Gods. Uh, yeah, this is a fantastic album. Really, really good. I absolutely love this album. Uh, I got it first day of release. Uh, when I finished work, I headed straight over and got it. Uh, it's got one of the nice uh, fold-out uh, vinyl-type boxes. Now I'm going to show you it on the inside, because I really like this. Now, I like Immortal's new logo, or sort of new, it's the one they've had for about a decade now, but when you open up the first bit, you get the classic logo. And even though it's not really as readable, it's uh, it just looks really cool to me. You've got the CD inside. Really, really great album. I would 100% recommend picking that up, especially if you're into black metal. If you're not into black metal, give it a listen first, see if you like it. And then uh, my next one, next album I bought, because I only bought two this month, was, um, well, I hinted about it in my last video as well. I, at this point, had every album in Megadeth's discography apart from Super Glider. Now, uh, a lot of people say it's a bad album. It's not bad. It's just not a great album, but it's 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 enjoyable for what it is. It's them. Um, it's it's sort of if you've ever listened to Megadeth's Risk, it's almost Risk the sequel. Uh, them trying a lifestyle. Now the the opening track, uh, King Meg has a has quite a great start to it, but it just starts tapering off, and then the album sort of just paces along. It's not it's not it's not bad like people say it is, but it's. Uh, it's just not as good as some of, a lot of Megadeth's other stuff. So uh, that's all I was able to pick up for for this month. Uh, I release other videos apart from just these in between, but if not, if you're looking for those, uh, August's will be out next month. And if you enjoyed, please like, share and subscribe. Goodbye.